subdivision surface rollout uh, so let's make something here I'm gonna come up here and make a box and I'm just gonna create a box and I'm gonna right click on it and convert it into an editable poly once I have an editable poly I'm gonna just pick on um, oh let's let's go back to the editable poly here and let's pick on let's see let's pick on what are we gonna pick on let's pick on this here and let's go and let's give it uh, some unique shape okay that's all we're looking for and uh, so there we are and uh, and so I'm gonna come over here and turn on my edge faces so we can see that a little better and now that we have some unique shape I'm just going to scroll down here and I'm going to come all the way down into my subdivision a little up here my subdivision surface rollout okay first thing I'm going to do is going to turn on my NURB subdivision my NURB subdivision is uh, it's going to allow me to, to do these smooth algorithms using the NURBS but still being in a polygon editing mode which is nice and now I can crank up my display by turning up my iterations I'll go up to three let's say and the more I kick up this the smoother it gets right so uh, and I can set the smoothest my uh, smoothest values go from uh, one to zero I mean zero to one rather and uh, and so I'm up there I can also turn on whether I want this to be in the rendering mode and so when I render this I can have these on with the number of iterations I need and the smoothest value when I render and uh, so it updates I have it updating all the time and so at this point you can see then that oh now I come in and I can grab a hold of any one particular uh, uh, division and I can say oh let's pull that out right and so I can modify things and even so if I want to I can always add more uh, I can come up here and add in more tessellization lines and smooth things out if I need to and with the tessellization lines I get more different little increments which I can manipulate so but I can pull on any one of these things and now I can have what the smoothness of a NURBS which uh, going back down here I have the NURBS subdivision on which is nice but I get the easiness of having the polygon editing so my subdivision surface rollout is really nice uh, to control the iterations is how smooth and articulate everything's going to be and I can use the NURBS or not and uh, so depending on how powerful your machine is you know be careful with the iterations here um, but you do want the NURBS on that smooths things out and uh, I can show my different uh, values the cage value is whenever I alter it from the original I can see the original cage here is in yellow and it's also uh, these different colors I could change those to something that might be a little easier to see perhaps right so now I change those colors and you can see that a little better perhaps and so you can see the original size of those and then over here I can change those to you know something like in the blues or something like that and uh, perhaps you can see that or maybe in the greens uh, let's go with something in the greens there so you can see exactly what that is those cage values are uh, showing uh, where it was edited from so a subdivision surface rollout is right here and we should turn on the NURBS and set our iterations are the main two items we need to worry about